Maimon. Weaving Myths, Starting from Urban Legends. Chapter 11. Gray Mist Flows Around the Palace. The three lucky ones who were, invited, by Chu Mu were terrified. Where is this place? A man with a mustache in a top brand luxury clothing looked around in surprise. He wanted to stand up from the chair, but when his eyes fell on where Chu Mu was, he fell into a state similar to in the stiff state, the original expression of surprise and uncertainty also became extremely horrified. Because Chu Mu was covered in a billowing gray mist, the man couldn't see Chu Mu's appearance clearly, he could only see the existence sitting on the main seat staring at him as if, examining. Meet that gaze. The man could feel his proud heart trembling uncontrollably, as if his soul was trembling. Such a feeling directly scared him so much that he dared not move at all. Tony. Stark. The voice shrouded in gray mist let out a low and majestic groan, and the identity of the other party was clearly revealed, which made the man who was severely shocked trembled again. The other party knows who he is. This is obviously not an accident. It's kidnapping. Probably. And this is obviously not a kidnapping in the conventional sense. Ordinary robbers can't kidnap him in the basement of their own villas. If my memory is correct, I should have been transferred to this unknown area in an instant. Some kind of teleportation technology. Or am I being injected with hallucinogens or anesthetics to cause memory confusion? All of a sudden, there are many things going on in the man's mind. The man who was so frightened by the breath of Chu Mu at the moment that he didn't dare to take a breath as Iron Man Tony. Stark, the most popular character in the Marvel Universe. Definitely. According to the information collected by Chu Mu after he came to this world, today's Tony. Stark has not yet experienced metamorphosis, but is just a rich and arrogant playboy. I didn't get scared to pee. Chu Mu felt slightly regretful. Immediately. He turned his gaze to the next person. Wanda Maximov. This time, among the three people, invited, by the free seats of Origin Castle, the only girl among them was the equally popular Scarlet Witch, the powerful flutter of, maternal love, with unlimited potential. Controller of Origin Magic Power. A powerful witch who was so powerful that even Thanos would yell for help. It's just that, like Tony. Stark's current situation, the current Scarlet Witch obviously still hasn't completed her metamorphosis. She looked about 15 or 16 years old. After being stared at by Chu Mu, the whole person's state is like a primary school student who was watched by the teacher in class. He immediately straightened his back and sat upright without daring to move. From the two little hands Wanda placed on her own knees since she was a child, it can be seen that she is also very disturbed at the moment. You, hello, sir. Facing Chu Mu calling her name, Wanda felt that she should be more polite. She couldn't figure out why she was still picking up trash with her brother on the front foot, but her back foot was directly brought into this terrifying space. But, a little Wanda is very clear. That is the place is dangerous. Whether it is the gray fog around or on Chu Emu's body, little Wanda, who was born with powerful magical power, feels frightened, and she can feel the twisted and crazy power contained in it. And as the suspected master of this terrifying domain, Little Wanda can hardly imagine how terrifying and powerful the figure sitting on the throne is. Evil God. It must be the evil God in those legends. Little Wanda's heart was trembling. She felt that she should be regarded as a good child. How could he be caught by the evil God? Didn't it mean that the evil God only arrests those bad children who are disobedient? Don't be nervous, I don't have any malice towards you. Chu Mu could see Little Wanda's embarrassment and he comforted her with a low and steady voice. Perhaps it was because Chu Mu comforted little Wanda but not himself. Tony. Stark, who was also terrified, couldn't help but look at the figure sitting opposite him. In his field of vision, he couldn't see the appearance of the opposite side clearly. This is a major feature of the, Council, of Origin Castle, and it is also a protection for the membership of the, Council. Without Chu Emu's permission, no member can spy on the faces of other members. Definitely, it is not difficult to tell the gender of the other party through the voice and general appearance. Max Eisenhart. Chu Mu turned his head again. This time he looked at the last person he, invited, to join here, and it was also the character who made him feel a little weird and shouldn't exist in this world. Perhaps many people are unfamiliar with this name. But if the name, Magneto, is mentioned, many people must immediately think of this person's ability and identity. 
Yes. The last person is because of too little reading, and obviously controls the electromagnetic force, one of the four basic forces of the universe, but in the end he plays himself as the mutant of the Iron King. The reason why Chu Mu was surprised to see the existence of this person is entirely because after he traveled to this world, there was no trace of the existence of mutant in his investigations. Chu Mu feels a sense of crisis. Also because he did do a lot of research using the resources of S.H.I.E.L.D. The Marvel world he traveled through is actually not that pure. Strictly speaking, it should be regarded as a beautiful comic world with the theme of the Marvel world and integrated many elements of the DC universe. The United States has a big city. There is also a borough called Gotham. Both Superman and Batman also exist. It's like a bug level character like the Flash has no trace of existence. Not only that, Chumyu did not find any information about mutant in SHIELD's network. Not during World War II. Not now. That's what surprised him when he saw Magneto appear. He thinks that either mutant is hiding it too well, or maybe this Magneto is from a parallel world. After all, 21st century. Even if mutant really existed. Magneto shouldn't be the young one he is now. Your Excellency, you brought us here, what do you want to do? Although Magneto's heart was not peaceful, he still gritted his teeth and asked Chu Mu, trying to figure out why he and the other two appeared here. For Chu Mu to know his real name, Magneto only felt turbulent in his heart, but he hadn't used the name, Max Eisenhart, for a long time. Gazing at the terrible figure on the throne, Magneto only felt that he was facing a monstrous and terrifying god. Such pressure. He'd never felt it on any of the mutants. Even his enemy Black King Shao. In front of an existence with such a terrifying aura, I am afraid that they are all just a small ant. Tap, tap, tap. Chu Emu's body leaned slightly on the armrest of the chair, and the other hand tapped the armrest quite relaxedly, making a very slight sound in the extremely quiet hall. He looked around at everyone present. Discovered that it wasn't just Magneto staring at him. The same goes for Tony and little Wanda. Obviously. The three of them seemed to be eager to know Chu Emu's intention to bring them to this mysterious space. Facing three pairs of eyes that were extremely anxious and wanted to figure out the situation. Chu Emu's mind moved slightly. Immediately. An extremely bold plan suddenly emerged in his mind. He. Use Origin Castle. Tell a big lie. The darkness is approaching, and the mystery is revived. I. Am making a small attempt. Chu Mu smiled slightly, with a casual tone in his unhurried tone. Fake point plus three. Fake point plus three. Fake point plus three. As soon as Chu Emu's voice fell, he received three system prompts. Sure enough, as Chu Mu expected, the essence of Origin Castle is still a fantasy creation. Use Origin Castle to exert influence on the characters in this world or the development of the world. You can also get Destiny Point. The guess was confirmed. Chu Mu became more and more aware. He just wants to use Origin Castle and the characters invited by Origin Castle to tell a big lie in this world, and let this lie provide him with a steady stream of fate points, harvest. A try. Darkness is coming. Mysterious recovery. Heard Chu Emu's words. The three people present couldn't help but fell into a brief silence. At the moment. Because of their different births, personalities, and growth environments, the three of them had completely different reactions in their hearts. As an atheist, Tony Stark only felt that Chu Emu's words were absurd, weird, and somewhat inexplicable. Originally, Tony wanted to subconsciously refute and laugh at Chu Emu's words. However, looking at the floating palace around him, and the thick gray fog covering the surroundings, the words of retort were stuck in his throat, and he couldn't utter them. Here, it doesn't look like a place that science can explain. Compared with Tony's three-view explosion, little Wanda's expression can be said to be hesitant to speak, which is extremely strange. She feels the indescribable power in the gray fog, and she wants to say something but has no courage to say it. That flowing gray mist, filled with madness and chaos that suffocates little Wanda. Little Wanda really wanted to ask Chu Mu. You said the mysterious recovery and the approaching darkness, so you must be talking about yourself, right? As a witch, little Wanda has an incomparably rich imagination. She has already begun to associate. Chu Mu may be something that is being revived, an ancient evil god who is awakening from his slumber. 
Such a small attempt, is really hard to evaluate. Magneto's reaction was the most complicated, and he could also feel the power fluctuations in the gray fog that frightened him. But, unlike little Wanda's view that Chu Mu is an evil god, he thinks that Chu Mu is more like some kind of extremely powerful mutant. This space and those gray fogs are Chu Mu's mutant power. After escaping from the Nazi concentration camp, Magneto has also seen many kinds of mutants, many of whom have the ability to link strange and alien spaces. Definitely. Magneto had never felt so terrified of any mutant that Magneto had seen before. He was caught in this space by the other party without any resistance at all, and the powerful and majestic aura possessed by the other party made it difficult for him to feel disrespectful in his proud heart. This is a top-notch mutant that is countless times stronger than Black King Shao. Magneto thought in this way, as for the saying that the darkness is about to revive mysteriously, he felt that Chu Mu was referring to the war that is now affecting the world. The Nazi forces, in Magneto's view, are the embodiment of mystery and evil. Well, your little attempt has frightened us. I wonder if you are satisfied with your attempt, can you send us back to your place? Tony. Stark asked with a more humble attitude as much as possible, it was not easy for him, he was always rebellious, he was imitating those who flattered himself to please the mysterious existence in front of him. What's dark, secretive, Tony? Stark doesn't want to argue, he just wants to get back to his villa as soon as possible, but he still has many goals in life that he hasn't achieved yet. Definitely, if you want to go back, I can let you go back now. Chu Mu still maintained a posture half leaning on the armrest, his eyes were as deep as stars in the eyes of the three of them. Calm. Can't feel the slightest emotion at all. That. Tony. Stark was about to speak. Never thought about it. His words were interrupted by the little Wanda who finally mustered up the courage. First. Mister, are you a god in myths and legends? Little Wanda obviously stuttered due to nervousness, and she looked at Chu Mu with nervous eyes. Original. Little Wanda wanted to say the word, evil god, but because she felt that this seemed impolite, she temporarily changed the word, evil god, to, god. The little girl asked nervously. It immediately caught the attention of Tony and Magneto. Looking at the three people who looked over again. Chu Mu lightly tapped the armrest of the seat with his finger again. God. No, I'm definitely not a god. His answer. Little Wanda's bright eyes dimmed slightly, Magneto breathed a sigh of relief, and Tony. Stark's eyes flickered a few times. However, if you are willing, I can help you become gods. The hall, which had become a little silent, suddenly became incomparably subtle again because of Chu Emu's relaxed tone. Everyone's face was full of horror and disbelief. I am not a god. But I can make you gods. The meaning carried in such words, even Wanda, a 15 or 16 year old girl, can immediately feel the, arrogance and madness, in it. No doubt. This is full of profanity. The other party is completely expressing that his personality is far beyond the so-called gods. Fake point plus 13. Fake point plus 18. Fake point plus 66. The expressions of the three people became very shocked and horrified. Even Tony, who was determined to return to his villa, completely forgot about his interrupted speech at this moment. Chu Emu's system gave three hints again. Have to say. These are named characters from the Marvel Universe. The fake points that can be provided. Sure enough, those little gangsters in Hell's Kitchen can't be compared. Looking at the three people who were completely shocked by him, Chu Mu was very satisfied with his, pretend to beep. So, do you want to become gods? Chu Mu once again used a relaxed and calm tone, which deeply shocked the hearts of the three people. His gaze made the three people feel convinced while trembling. Although the other party's remarks were outrageous and made the three of them feel extremely absurd, but after meeting Chu Mu's gaze, they seemed to have a voice in their hearts. That voice was constantly telling them, the mysterious existence in this space does have the power to create gods, and they are the lucky ones to be chosen. Your Majesty, thank you for your attention, I don't know how we should call you. Magneto is an ambitious man, and at the same time, he still has a bloody feud with mutant Black King Shao that has not been avenged, so he very much hopes that such an opportunity is real. This guy is really down to earth. The name of Chu Mu changed immediately. Um, 
Chu Mu didn't expect that Magneto still had the potential to be a fan, he glanced at Magneto with a little surprise, and didn't give up the opportunity Magneto sent to pretend to beep. He tapped the armrest of his seat again, and introduced himself in a calm voice. You can call me, Destiny. You can call me, Destiny. The incomparably clear words echoed in everyone's ears. Although the voice quickly disappeared in the layers of tumbling gray fog, the ripples caused by Chu Emu's words, in the hearts of little Wanda, Magneto and Tony. Fate point plus 22. Fate point plus 31. Fate point plus 77. From the number of fate points that Chu Mu harvested, it is not difficult to see how deep and indelible his words left in the hearts of the three people. Destiny. What kind of, crazy and arrogant, person must dare to declare that he is destiny originally? Incomparably complicated emotions grew in the hearts of the three of them. Reminiscent of Chu Emu's previous words that can create gods, several people immediately felt that it might not be surprising that Chu Mu would say such an, arrogant, self-introduction. If the mysterious existence in front of him really has the power to, create gods. So. The other party is indeed qualified to call himself so. Even. Only such a title can represent the incredible power of, making gods. Isn't there a saying that is good, no one can escape the arrangement of fate. The same is true of the gods. But. The mysterious, powerful, stalwart, but unbearably fearful existence in front of him is really, fate, originally. Little Wanda has very strong doubts about this. The power of fate. Why is it so crazy and chaotic? Your Majesty, if we want to accept your gift, what price will we have to pay? Magneto didn't care whether Chu Emu's identity was true or not. He only knows that the enemy with whom he has a deep blood feud is extremely powerful, and being brought to this space by Chu Mu this time may be an opportunity to help him avenge his revenge. Thinking of his mother dying in front of his eyes, and thinking of the inhuman torture he suffered since he was a child, Magneto's sanity will be completely lost in a short time. Mutant strong. Cthulhu. Incarnation of fate. None of this matters. He is even willing to dedicate his soul to the devil as long as it gives him a chance to avenge mutant Shao. It's not difficult to gain power from me. I'm a person who likes equal exchange. If you do things for me, I will give you rich rewards. Chu Mu drew a big cake to everyone with a chuckle. He is a poor man now. But it doesn't mean that his myth points will always be in short supply. The products in Myth Mall can actually be used on other people as long as Chu Mu allows it. One thing Chu Mu is not deceiving. That is as long as he wants to. Indeed, there is a means to push several people to the throne of God. Definitely, the premise is that Chu Mu's myth points are sufficient and his current myth points balance is really unbearable. In less than half an hour, they provided me with hundreds of fate points. I chose to use Origin Castle to, wrongly induce, them. Maybe I will soon have a lot of fate points to build many high-level fantasy creations. Chu Mu seemed calm, but in fact he was already extremely excited. He felt that he had found a path that was both safe and quick to develop himself. Chu Mu, who is full of expectations for the future, can no longer control his smile. Fortunately, it was shrouded in gray fog. It is still so that others cannot see his expression. What do you want us to do? Magneto continued to ask questions with a desire for power. He raised his head firmly and looked at the stalwart figure sitting on the throne, making him feel that his eyes were full of, joke. As I said, the darkness is coming, the mystery will be revived, and your world will undergo earth-shaking changes. I need you to find and deal with those things. Chu Mu smiled and spoke softly to Magneto and the other two. His plan is simple, to train people like Tony to become, myth hunters, under the banner of, fate. In this way, he can gain fate points by manipulating fantasy creations in the world, and sending these people to deal with events involving fantasy creations can also use these, myth hunters, to obtain fate points. One fish, two meals. Doesn't this deserve him to get rich? And, if those major Marvel events happen, he will let Tony and others solve them as, myth hunter, and, apostle of destiny, and he will be able to gain an extra destiny point. One fish and three meals. Chu Mu seems to have seen that he has created countless imaginary creations. Surrounded by a group of imaginary creations, he only needs to lie at home every day to count the beautiful future of mythological points. 
by the time, what are the products that you can see but can't afford in mythology mall? Non-existent. All directly at the original price to buy home. It's the hateful stray orange cat in the apartment building who likes to run to his house to steal food. Chu Mu thinks that as long as he is arrogant, he will be willing to give that hateful orange cat a reward of unlimited chicken leg bucket. Think here. Chu Mu felt that Tony and the others were really lucky to be selected by such a majestic, missed lord. After all, he is so considerate even stealing the orange cat that he eats, so how can he treat his teammates who follow him and help him earn destiny points badly? Um, here. Perhaps it should be accompanied by an understanding applause. Just when Chu Mu was slightly distracted. Sorry, let me state in advance, I'm not questioning you. Just wanted to ask, if what you said is true, what mysteries and evils have really revived in the world, then you will train us to be saviors, let us solve those incidents you said, this is for you what good would it be? Tony. Stark, who had been silent for a long time, raised his hand. As a businessman, he likes to think about problems with interests in mind. Because of this, he also couldn't help thinking about why Chu Mu wanted them to do these things. Even if there are really evil and mysterious supernatural events in this world, why would the mysterious person in front of him want them to deal with those events? On this matter, Tony Stark couldn't guess what benefits the mysterious existence in front of him could gain. His keen intuition made him smell something wrong in this matter. Um, Chu Mu saw Tony Stark's doubts, and he slightly marveled at Tony Stark's intelligence in his heart, but he calmly let out another chuckle. However, before Chu Mu could tell the reason he had thought up. It's not something we should care about. Magneto just looked at Tony. Stark with some sarcasm, he thought Tony. Stark was a fool who pretended to be smart. When facing a powerful existence, he still dared to speak to the other party in such a, questioning, tone, Magneto couldn't understand why Tony. Stark could live to adulthood without being beaten to death. In his opinion, there is power to be gained. Just complete the other party's request. Curiosity or something. It doesn't matter at all. Inside the concentration camp. Those who are very curious usually die very badly. You don't care. It doesn't mean I don't care. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Tony. Stark can still restrain his temper when facing Chu Mu. But facing Magneto. Who is also a. Guest. In this space with him. He directly turned back without any hesitation. It looked like the two of them were about to quarrel. It doesn't matter. This is your right, you definitely have the right to ask. Chu Mu felt that Magneto was really excellent, and Magneto seemed to be able to sense it every time he performed a comparison. He really. Chu Mu cried to death. It's impossible not to have a fan like Magneto in my fog council. I'm not trying to cultivate a savior. In fact, whether your world is eroded or not has nothing to do with me. I have witnessed too many worlds coming to an end. On your body. I just want to have some fun. Chu Emu's voice sounded erratic and distant, making Tony Stark's expression condense. Immediately afterwards, Chu Emu's voice continued to resound in the gloomy palace. Your growth, the process of you playing games with the strange battles, can make me happy. This is the benefit I can get from your actions. I, I need you to dance on the stage and give me the best performance. Chu Emu's body suddenly leaned forward slightly, but a small movement shocked all three of them. Everyone who was watched by Chu Mu felt unprecedented oppression. Please me with your performance, your world will be saved, and you will become gods. How about it, isn't this a reasonable deal? Chu Emu's voice was calm and there was a bit of banter, he sat back on the throne lazily again, and spoke in a brisk tone as if he remembered something again. Definitely, in this process, I also hope that you can recite my name to those weird and even the world. I think it will also be an interesting drama. Chu Emu's words. Although it didn't carry any threat or anger, but hearing it in the ears of the three members of the Mist Council, it undoubtedly set off a huge wave in the hearts of all three of them. It's the evil gods. This kind of behavior must be those terrible evil gods. I know it, I know it. The thought in his heart made little Wanda sit up straight again. She lowered her head. I dare not let out the atmosphere. I want to show that I am a quiet and dignified good boy. Little Wanda was afraid that Chu Mu would think she was a bad child, and if she got upset, she might wring her little head off. Evil God. Many stories have been told. They have a whim. 
I like to use the children's heads to squeeze juice. Just wanting, to please us. Tony. Stark definitely didn't want to be someone's marionette, nor did he want to be a pathetic character like a star actor. However, after looking at Chu Emu's eyes as deep as the starry sky and full of teasing for a moment, he couldn't show his pride and arrogance after all. In fact, Tony Stark of at the moment had an unusually heavy heart. His senses were not as sharp as little Wanda's, so it was at the moment that he realized how terrifying the mysterious existence in front of him was. For the theater, the other party is even willing to create a few mortals into gods. Such an attitude. It's just ridiculous and bizarre. He said that he has seen many worlds come to an end. If what he said is true, how many of these destroyed worlds are related to him? Tony. Stark didn't dare to make too many associations at all. Think carefully. The more I think about it, he felt more and more inexplicable flustered. Obviously. Chu Emu's performance this time is very good. Even at the moment, the intellectual responsibility of the Marvel Universe couldn't help but make up for it. No way. Smart people are actually the ones who are most likely to become brain monsters. Speech by Chu Mu. Tony. Stark can't help but think about it, how can the destruction of a world be used as a drama to please the audience? What the other party said, your world will be saved because of this, definitely makes Tony destroy the world. Even though he didn't want to believe that a living being would possess such power, he didn't dare to gamble, even if the other party only had the power to destroy the earth, he couldn't afford it. This is really Tony. Stark's mood was constantly up and down, no matter what, the only thing he could be sure of now was that the owner here was definitely not a kind and righteous existence. The other party could be the ultimate fun person. It's like when I go to the bar, I like to throw money to those girls and let those girls go and have romantic with the otaku. The other party obviously has a, fun person, personality similar to myself. And. The most terrifying thing is that the other party is still a powerful life with terrifying power, who dares to call itself, destiny. No one can tell what kind of fun the other party wants to watch. At the moment, Tony Stark already felt how bad those who were teased by him were in a bad mood, and he wanted to sincerely apologize to those who were teased and teased by him. I am willing to serve you. Exchange my praise for your reward. Among those present. The only one with a firm attitude is probably Magneto. Regarding Chu Emu's statement, he didn't show the same surprise and disillusionment as Tony Stark. Although he has a strong obsession with revenge, he is definitely not a complete lunatic. You thought Magneto didn't feel the chaos and madness in this palace. You thought Magneto didn't feel the terror of the Grey Mist. No. Although his feelings were not as clear as little Wanda's, the ravings hidden in the gray mist could still make him realize what kind of place this place was. As the owner of this place. Definitely won't be a good stubble. For Magneto. It doesn't matter whether Chumyu is righteous or evil, as long as there is someone who can give him the hope of revenge, then even the devil can become a god for him to worship. Fate point plus 66. Fate point plus 88. Fate point plus 112. Another large sum of fate points was credited, and Chu Mu became more and more convinced that the three people in front of him were his high-quality, money-printing machines, but he did not show an aggressive attitude. After all, now he is playing a very ancient being who has lived for countless years, but has a hobby of watching fun, so naturally he can't show how eager he is. I don't like to force people, I will give you time to digest the information, and then respect the answers you give me, I think you can tell me your answers when I start the next meeting. Chu Emu's gentle tone seemed to carry a kind of confidence in controlling the world, as if he had already determined the future and knew that the three people in front of him would not choose to reject his, good intentions. That calmness and calmness. Tony. Stark couldn't help but tremble a few times. He thought of a terrible thing. If the other party is really in control of the mighty power that determines fate, then, since they were brought into this mysterious area, they may have already been arranged by the other party to finally nod in agreement. Becoming the other party's, hunter, to please the other party may have become the fate of oneself and others, so the other party behaved so calmly and calmly when speaking. Thinking that perhaps unconsciously, the other party had already arranged the fate of himself and the others, Tony. Stark felt his scalp explode abnormally, and his spine was also chilling. How to say? 
it is not difficult to verify this conjecture. As long as you go back and see if there will be any huge amounts of changes in your life, you may be able to determine whether this mysterious existence really has the power to arrange, fate. There is one thing to say, Tony. Stark really can't imagine how much change he has to suffer before he wants to agree to the other party's request. You mean, now we can go home and think about the advice you gave us. Tony. Stark couldn't wait to leave this place. He doesn't feel the slightest sense of security here, and he is frightened by all kinds of associations in his mind. Now he just wants to go back to his underground laboratory to calm down. There's another party. Little Wanda, who lowered her head and kept counting the patterns on the ground, turned pale. She didn't want to come to this weird and crazy dimension again. Her magic power has been warning her, and the crazy ravings and chaotic atmosphere rising from the gray fog made her very sure that, Mr. Destiny, must not be a good person. Follow your will. To say that the person who makes Chu Mu feel the most gratified is Magneto, he wants to gain power from Chu Mu from the bottom of his heart, and the whole person directly becomes Chu Mu's ultimate licking dog. Hard to imagine. A mutant king. He will bow his head and salute to another existence so humbly, as if he is the most devout believer and subordinate of the other party. Chu Mu could understand what Magneto wanted from him. Let's look forward to the next meeting. Chu Mu whispered softly. Immediately. He cut off the connection between Origin Castle and the three, Mist Council, members. Tony. Stark, Wanda, Magneto, the, projections, of the three of them all became dim, turned into scarlet stars again, and shot towards the area covered in grey mist in the sky. After a while, above the grey mist, the original silence was restored. Grey fog is flowing. Chu Mu sat quietly in his own place in the Palace of the Kingdom of God. I should be doing okay. Chu Mu re-examined his performance throughout the process, and after making sure that there were no negligence, he immediately left this mysterious space. Sure enough, it's also a one-to-one -one time flow. Although Chu Mu already knew the information of Origin Castle very well, after returning to his bedroom, he still looked up at the wall clock on the wall. When in Origin Castle, time does not stop in this world. How many minutes have passed in there? How many minutes will also pass outside? Fate point plus one one. Fate point plus one eight. Fate point plus twenty two. Not long after Chu Mu had just returned to his room, three high value notification sounds came to mind again, apparently the influence feedback produced by the three, chosen children, after they returned. Those rubbish BL asterisk CKMN in Hell's Kitchen are far from able to give so much fate points feedback. Besides, Chu Mu did not release the revived Gap Girl during the daytime. Before the police knew about the Gap Girl, Chu Mu would only receive messages from time to time during the daytime. Fate point plus one plus two, prompt. In the Marvel Universe, the more important characters can produce more fate points. Chu Mu couldn't help expressing his joy when he watched the fate points increase again. This time, the information that Chu Mu revealed in the Mist Council probably took a long time for those three people to digest. Not only that. Chu Mu even felt that if he really succeeded in changing the fate of Tony and others, making them his, Apostles of Destiny, or, Myth Hunters, the system would definitely reward him with a lot of fate points. After all, when Tony no longer thinks about making armor every day and Wanda doesn't think about finding a son every day, it will obviously cause a lot of changes to the historical direction and influence of the Marvel Universe. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult to get Wanda and Tony. Stark to nod in agreement. The mystery that Chu Mu said was revived, and the darkness is approaching. He will soon be able to use his own system to produce one piece of evidence from all over the world in New York. Tony. Stark will definitely want to save the world when he sees the world being poisoned by countless weirdnesses. In the same way, it only takes some simple planning to, abduct, little Wanda. In fact, the only person who makes Chu Mu feel a little troublesome is Magneto, the only one who has expressed his loyalty to him. Magneto should be a human from another Earth in the multi-universe. Chu Mu moved his hands and feet, and had some guesses about Magneto's situation. If this guess is true, he obviously doesn't have the ability to implant mythical creations into another universe now. How to make Magneto provide fate points for himself, and how to make Magneto have, mythical creatures, to hunt, obviously need to think about it and think about it. 
Definitely. Anyway. The S-level harvest of Origin Castle brought him a great surprise, and it allowed Chu Mu to find a very high quality path, which can be like taking a shortcut to earn destiny points by, one fish and three meals. And, even ignoring other characteristics of Origin Castle. Just the function that allows people from different places to, make friends online, in some novels, in fact, Goldfinger can already be used as the protagonist alone. The most important thing is, that curtain is still on Origin Castle, which means that among the benefits that Origin Castle can bring me, it has one of the most heaven-defying abilities of the Miracle Master profession. Chu Mu whispered to himself, it is not difficult to hear a very happy taste, but he has never forgotten the quite classic lines in, Master of Mysteries. Coming back from the dead is a miracle. In the novel, The Master of Mysteries, in order to be able to recover in the new era, the big boss Tianzun arranged a curtain, little quilt, in Origin Castle, hoping that he would be selected by himself as a, sacrifice, for recovery the main character in this book can have the basic qualities to be possessing others' body by him when he was just born. However, due to the interference of other gods, the big boss's plan naturally failed to come true, and his handwriting in Origin Castle became the trump card for the protagonist to come back to life several times. Now, the Origin Castle obtained by Chu Mu also has a curtain. With the power of the, curtain, carried in the Origin Castle, Chu Mu obviously has the capital to bring the dead back to life. This capital, definitely a strong guarantee of his survival in the Marvel Universe. Although I have a few more lives, I still have to be careful enough not to be inflated because of this, and to develop and grow well is the mentality I should maintain now. Chu Mu adjusted his mentality a little, and then looked at his attribute panel. After the meeting of Origin Castle, he now has more than 1,700 fate points. Let's upgrade Gap Girl, I can get a little more, myth points, every day. Chu Mu directly filled up the experience bar of Gap Girl, without saying a word. As a white brilliance bloomed on the statue of the, Gap Girl, Chu Mu could feel that the, Gap Girl, in his consciousness space had obviously strengthened a lot. Gap Girl. Level. 2. Quality. Grade D. Experience value. 0 two thousandths. Strength. 20. Physique. 20. Spirit. 20. Extraordinary entry. None. All attributes are directly doubled, and the three-dimensional growth is extremely balanced. Definitely, such an attribute is okay against ordinary people, but it is still not enough to deal with many extraordinary powers. Take your time. When fate points accumulate enough, I will exchange them for AC level fantasy seed to create a fantasy creation that truly has extraordinary entries. Chu Mu was thinking about the future at the same time, I refined the model of girl with the gap. He is waiting for the night to come. Under the cover of night. Only the activities of gap girl will be safe enough. Chu Mu, who has obtained the S-level blind box harvest, indeed still maintains a cautious style. That's a good point. At the same time when Chu Mu was suffering from obsessive compulsive disorder and kept modifying the model of gap girl, the three missed members who returned to their own territory were also greatly affected by their experiences in Origin Castle. In. The reaction of Tony. Stark is the most magical. New York. Outskirts. Tony. Stark is located in a villa next to a cliff in a deep mountain. With the scarlet luster shining and disappearing, Tony. Stark has returned to the place where he disappeared in the first place. 25 past 11. The first thing Tony. Stark did after his return was to immediately look at the wall clock on the wall of the underground laboratory. This behavior was exactly the same as that of Chu Mu after his return. Time hasn't stopped, and it's about the same time as I estimated. Maybe I haven't left Earth. Tony. Stark was under great psychological shock and shock when he was, invited, by Chu Mu to enter Origin Castle. However, he was still able to maintain the small movement of silently counting the time in his heart. Have to say, being able to become the largest arms dealer in the United States and the richest man in the world, Tony. Stark's psychological quality is also very strong, and it is not unreasonable for him to become the pillar hero of the Earth in the future. J-A-R-V-I-S, call up laboratory surveillance. Tony. Stark spoke to an area that didn't exist, and immediately, the computer in front of him automatically popped up the whole day's surveillance video of the basement he was in. My people haven't left here. Tony. 
Stark confirmed the fact once again through the monitoring of his own home, that is, he was not really taken away. I see. Tony. Stark in the monitoring screen was still debugging a certain mechanical arm one moment ago, but in the next second, his smooth debugging movement stopped as if the pause button was pressed. Only the still running wall clocks on the surrounding walls, and the constant flickering crimson in Tony. Stark's eyes, proved that this video was not damaged or paused. What took away was my will, or my spirit. As a staunch atheist, Tony. Stark generally would not easily say the word, soul. On the Mist Council of Origin Castle, under the pressure from Chu Mu and the influence of the Grey Fog, Tony. Stark may temporarily admit to self-doubt. But, now that he has returned to his own territory. Tony. Stark was obviously backed up again, the, soul of materialism, in his body was burning again, and he firmly began to deny the existence of all ghosts and monsters. As we all know, Tony. Stark is a very narcissistic person, therefore, he doubts very much that everything that happened in Origin Castle before was just a drama. That mysterious, master of destiny, and the other two unlucky guys who were captured together were all actors hired by a force that wanted to, brainwash, and, control, him. A very powerful approach. Find an intimidator, and then find two people who stand in the same camp as me to become, victims. From a psychological point of view, it will easily deepen my trust in, companions. They all believe in the, Lord of Destiny, and this attitude has indeed affected me for a certain period of time. It's just a pity that this group of people still has a flaw. That man, the speed of prostration and submission is too fast, it's so fast that it's not real at all, it's as if he's rushing to the market, no normal person would regard a guy with unknown history as a god. Tony. Stark was making an analysis, he still didn't know what the people who influenced him wanted to get, but this didn't affect him to regard everything that happened before as a scam. Magneto was even regarded by him as a, rushing, actor whose acting skills were not good enough, and Tony. Stark even complained that Magneto's acting skills were not even as good as that helpless and frightened little girl. The future of Hollywood is ruined by these unprofessional actors. I have to say that Magneto is really miserable, and he is clearly the most, loyal, one to Chu Mu in Origin Castle. However, whether it was from Chu Mu or Tony Stark, he didn't get any benefits or comments. Perhaps this also expresses the truth that, licking a dog is a tragedy. Dot dot dot. Tony. Stark suspects that Chu Emu's counsel is the crew. But, to verify this guess, he had to find the reason why he was, mind control, first. It may be the effect of some kind of controlled hallucinogen, or it may be that someone near my villa is using some kind of brain wave control device to control me. Tony. Stark put forward several ideas one after another. In order to verify this guess, he also immediately asked JARVIS to call up the surveillance videos of all locations in the entire villa. Okay, sir. JARVIS faithfully carried out Tony Stark's orders. One of the great advantages of artificial intelligence is that it does not have the slightest doubt about the orders given by the boss. No, no one approached my villa, and I didn't find any suspicious devices installed in the corner. Tony. Stark couldn't help frowning after checking the video. He still didn't want to believe that what happened just now was related to supernatural events. Today's Tony. Stark has not seen the most real side of this world. After all. A wonderful start to the Marvel Universe. The prelude will have to be after he becomes Iron Man. Before that. All paranormal events are well hidden. Tony. Stark definitely has the ability to hack into the archives of the relevant departments, but he has never been interested in supernatural events. This also led to him not paying attention to and verifying any supernatural events before he became Iron Man, and he felt that all news about supernatural events was grandstanding. Maybe it's hiding the device in the ventilation duct. A place where the surveillance video can't capture it, clever. Tony. Stark's reaction now is obviously a little bit magical. It can be seen. Although he is still trying his best to maintain his three views and retain his, materialistic, view of the world, his heart is not without the slightest wavering. It is precisely because of being shaken. Tony. Stark is eager to prove his point of view. This is not. Tony. Stark, who originally had a strong cleanliness and fart mentality, actually put on a protective suit, 
and got into the ventilation duct of his villa without saying a word. Not here. Still none. Why can't I find it? When Tony Stark got out of the ventilation duct, he was dirty and had a very ugly expression on his face. He didn't find the kind of evidence he wanted to find. By now, even though there were a thousand or even ten thousand reluctance reasons in his heart, Tony Stark had to face up to the possibility that he was absolutely unwilling to accept. That's, that's the only possibility. Tony Stark's expression changed constantly. Beep. When Tony Stark's personal secretary, the wife who helped Tony Stark manage the entire company, a woman named Pepper came to the villa to ask Tony Stark to sign documents every day. The future president of the Stark group encountered the most terrifying moment in her life in Tony Stark's villa. After ringing the doorbell and no one answered, Pepper ordered Jarvis to quickly open the door for himself. However, immediately afterwards, wanting to complain that Tony must have stayed up late with some supermodel last night, she saw Tony Stark wearing a dirty protective suit in the living room of the villa. Tony Stark, who seems to be talking a little bit, is actually using six computers and two TV sets to study aliens at this moment. It's just in time, my dear assistant, I don't need you to help me drive away the annoying supermodel today, can you find me the book called, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Seeing Pepper, Tony Stark turned his head and said the words to Pepper, heard in Pepper's ear, it almost made Pepper feel his scalp burst. She just stared wide-eyed, her expression extremely horrified and unbelievable. This assistant, who can still keep calm even after seeing Tony. She wondered if she had crossed the parallel world in the tunnel under the mountain. Otherwise, why would Tony Stark secretly hide in the villa, neither looking for young models and supermodels, nor doing research on new weapons, but watching videos about aliens? Hitler's UFO research program. Not only are there videos of aliens, but there are also literature stalls on the street. Mutant Universe. New York. The ancestral castle of the Charles Francis Xavier family. The wind was howling, and the rain was like a waterfall. Magneto, who was standing on the roof of the castle in the rain and thinking about life, the crimson light in his eyes gradually dimmed with his return. I'm back. It's like an illusory dream, the palace above the gray fog, and the mysterious existence shrouded in shadows. Magneto raised his hand to wipe the rain that blocked his vision. The memory of Origin Castle and the Mist Council in his mind was so clear that it didn't look like a hallucination or mind control at all. If that mysterious existence can really give me the power of revenge, then even if he is a devil in hell, I absolutely cannot give up such an opportunity. Magneto clenched his fists tightly, the surrounding metal objects were trembling constantly, his clothes were completely eroded by the rain, and pillars of rainwater kept falling from his hair. The reason for standing here in the rain. It is because Magneto and a group of mutant compatriots were planning and planning against mutant Shao, the more they planned, the more they found that the possibility of them being able to stop and kill the mutant strong Shao was very slim. The man who worked on mutant in a Nazi concentration camp was just too powerful. Sebastian Shaw possesses the ability to absorb all forms of energy and convert it into its own energy. It can be said, it is difficult to damage it with any attack. Now, the opponent is even planning to absorb the power of the nuclear bomb. That is the most powerful weapon made by humans on Earth. If the opponent's ability is really that strong, Magneto's revenge will almost become an impossible luxury. Reality plunged Magneto into a pang of despair for a while. He wants revenge. So I joined Charles's team. However, the other teammates recruited by Charles did not allow Magneto to see any hope of defeating Mutant Shaw at all. A laser man who can't even control his own abilities. A shy man who looks like an orc. There is also a Mutant Man who can grow fish gills by soaking his head in water. Magneto admits that the abilities of these people are very interesting, and if a circus is formed, tickets will definitely sell. Just, to pull these people to fight against Mutant Shao and Mutant Shao's suitors. Hee <laughs> hee. Magneto didn't think that such a companion could be compared with those powerful mutants under Mutant Shao. He even thought that a red devil could wipe out the circus on his side. It is because there is no hope. Before Chu Mu dragged him to Origin Castle to enter the Mist Council, Magneto had just had a big fight with those mutant companions, and ran into the rain curtain by himself in an attempt to calm his mind. 
Never thought about it. Just ran out for a while. He had a very strange experience. I'm sure I can't count on the circus jokers in the house, but, if that Lord Destiny is really willing to help me, I can definitely kill that man with my own hands. Master Fate, it seems that he is much stronger than that man. Hope was rekindled in Magneto's heart. Fortunately, he didn't know that Chu Mu couldn't affect his world at all now, otherwise, he certainly wouldn't still maintain the, convincing, respect for Chu Mu in the Mist Council. In Magneto's view, Lord Destiny may be watching him anytime and anywhere, testing his loyalty. Eric. Just when Magneto complained in his heart that the other two members of the Mist had no winks, so they still needed to go through the inspection period and the next meeting of the Mist Council to become the loyal dog of, Master Destiny. Worried about Magneto, Charles, who was alone in the rain on the roof, just came out of the stairs and called out to Magneto full of worry. Are you okay? It can be seen that the young Charles with thick hair and walking legs is very concerned about Magneto. He went straight to the rain to accompany Magneto in the rain. Eric, are you okay? The professor is concerned about Magneto again. It is a pity. He didn't hold a bag of, Lulu May in his hand, otherwise this line would definitely be sentenced to plagiarism. I can understand your anxiety, but we really can't afford to lose. We can't just come to him like this. He has a helmet, and we have almost no chance of winning. Charles wanted to calm Magneto's emotions, however, he found that Magneto at the moment was unusually calm, completely different from his imagined reaction. I know. Charles, I'm very calm now. I really shouldn't be in a hurry. Say sorry to everyone for me. Eric looked at the only companion in front of him that he valued, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. He can see hope, and he is not a fool who likes to give away people's heads without thinking. Ah. Okay, I'll convey your apology for you. The young Charles was taken aback for a moment, he thought Eric's reaction was really strange. Definitely, for him, it was the best situation for Eric to regain his sanity. By the way, Charles, do you know anything about the gods and those ancient myths? Eric's sudden question made Charles confused again. Well, I don't know much about it, but my family's private library has collected a lot of relevant materials and documents. Although the young Charles was full of doubts, he still answered Eric's question seriously, and by the way showed how rich his family was. I want to look at those documents, to find answers to, some things. Eric hesitated for a moment, but did not reveal any information about the Mist Council. Okay, I can take you there now. Charles took a deep look at Eric, and now he has always maintained the habit of not casually prying into other people's memories, and because of this, he can only act in response to Eric's sudden change. Can't guess, maybe Eric wants to pin his hope on some kind of belief. Um, when people face difficulties, they always want to find the salvation of faith which is in line with human nature. Charles thought he had figured out what was going on with Eric at the moment's weird words and deeds. In his opinion, being able to find a sustenance of faith is definitely a good thing for Eric, who is full of hatred in his heart, and it may allow Eric to be redeemed. You can take everything in the library with you, and I even have a medieval Bible at home. Charles was happy to see Eric find some kind of faith. Definitely. At the moment, Charles still didn't realize the difference between the beliefs that Magneto wanted to enshrine and the beliefs that people created for self-comfort in his understanding. Magneto's faith. It points to a real life. At the same time. This belief. It will also bring unimaginable great changes to the world in the near future. Dot dot dot. Marvel Universe. Eastern Europe. In an abandoned house. After Wanda returns. Immediately, he told his brother Quicksilver about all his experiences in Origin Castle. As twins who depend on each other, they trust each other very much. Brother, Mr. Fate gives me a very scary feeling, even scarier than the figure that often appears in my nightmares. I don't think Mr. Fate is a good god. Wanda's politeness really makes people laugh, even if Chu Mu is a scoundrel, but still call Chu Mu Mr. Sister, this is an opportunity, remember the missile that killed our parents, if the mysterious person you meet can help us take revenge on the United States, even if he is a bad guy, so what, we need to help us parents, and our friends to seek justice. There was strong hatred in Quicksilver's tone. Not much less than Eric's hatred. I definitely remember, and I will never forget. 
Scarlet Luster also appeared in Little Wanda's bright eyes, with a kind of angry hatred, she used her magic power to write a line of words in the air. Stark and Industries. Stark Industries. Little Wanda and Quicksilver have never read books, but they will never forget this string of characters, because their parents were killed by missiles with this line of characters. If the missile hadn't been a dud, they would have died together. Both Little Wanda and Quicksilver felt that it was God's mercy, and God wanted them to survive to avenge their parents. Next time, if you see that mysterious gentleman again, tell him that I am willing to serve him instead of you, as long as he can help us take revenge on the United States and this arms company. My ability is much stronger than yours. That mysterious mister will not reject you. Although Quicksilver was full of hatred in his heart, he could still see that he wanted to protect his sister. But, how to say, Quicksilver has a great sense of humor. About the members of the Mist. Chu Mu is unknown. After all, he is not the kind of character who likes to hide above the gray fog and use Origin Castle to spy on others. Moreover, now Chu Mu still has work to do. After intensively playing, Gap Girl, when the night is dark and the wind is high, it is a good time for him to control, Rip Girl, to hunt. Tonight Chu Mu wants the BL asterisk CKMN in Hell's Kitchen to know why there's a knife on the head. The scissors also need to be replaced with blood grooves and barbs. Chu Mu fiddled again, and then released Gap Girl. While controlling the Gap Girl immersively, he enjoyed the pizza delivered home. No taste. Mainly because the pizza was cold. Takeout from the United States. Being able to arrive within two hours is already considered a dedicated delivery staff. Fake point plus two. Fake point plus one. Fake point plus two. Dot dot dot. Although the fake points provided by the gangsters in Hell's Kitchen are not as good as those in the Fog Council, Sheng has a lot of awful and garbage that can't be killed in Hell's Kitchen. Especially those BL asterisk CKMN who put a gun in their trouser pockets and feel that they are the king of the world. Their performance has always been very stable. The Gap Girl controlled by Chu Mu basically encounters a BL asterisk CKMN every 10 minutes. Even though there are legends about the Gap Girl circulating in Hell's Kitchen, the instinct from the genes still makes these BL asterisk CKMN unable to control their desire to have some stories with the Gap Girl. Chick, do you think I'm beautiful? Definitely, definitely, hey, brother, let me show you a big baby. What about now? No, it's the killer. It's the killer. Hasn't she been blown to pieces? Tom's lying to me. No. Please don't kill me. Although there are quite a few white gangsters in Hell's Kitchen, almost all of them wandering the streets at night are black ghosts. Without exception, these black ghosts have become the ghosts of Girl with the Gap. Scissors with blood grooves and barbs. One thing to say, Chu Mu feels that it is easier to use than ordinary scissors, and the picture of those BL asterisk CKMN blood rushing does not affect Chu Mu in the bedroom eating pizza. Since the existence of Gap Girl has been discovered by Shield, Shield will take action against Gap Girl soon. Maybe I can make a big event tonight. Chu Mu thought of the Shield file he had seen before, and he had a premonition that when he got to work tomorrow morning, Phil Coulson would release the investigation task about Gap Girl. By the time, the particularity of Gap Girl is bound to be discovered by S.H.I.E.L.D. Instead of waiting until S.H.I.E.L.D. besieges and investigates, Chumu thinks he should probably make a news headline tonight. Take down a gang lair. Kill the whole gang of people. Then deliberately ran to the front of the monitor and dangled a few times. After the people in Hell's Kitchen discover the surveillance tomorrow, this kind of, supernatural event, will definitely hit the headlines. At that time, there will definitely be no less fate points fed back from the influence. Well, that's it. Chu Mu felt that he was only making the optimal decision based on the current situation and information, and it was not considered inflated. With his identity, he had always scored full marks in the strategy courses of the Shield Academy. If it is really expansion, Chu Mu would not choose to release Gap Girl until late at night. At best, it can only be said that he is a little drifting, and the confidence brought by Origin Castle has indeed given Chu Mu some capital. To know. The curtain above Origin Castle. It's not just about giving Chu Mu a chance to come back from the dead. The curtain also contains the extraordinary characteristics of the protagonist's cultivation path from sequence 9 to sequence 1 in the world of, Master of Mysteries. Original.
Using the power of this curtain, the protagonist in, Master of the Mysteries, should have been able to become a top powerhouse at birth, and then be directly possessed by the world's big boss to occupy others' body. As a resurrection hand arranged by the world's big boss, it is conceivable how precious the curtain in Origin Castle is. Although Chu Mu is not able to directly absorb the power of this curtain to take off in place, he can also use the curtain in the curtain to take off. Extraordinary characteristics, briefly possessing the strength of the top powerhouse of, Master of Mysteries. The power level will probably be the level of Sequence 2 in, Master of Mysteries. Don't underestimate this level, all beings at this level in, Master of Mysteries, can be called angels. Not the kind with wings. Instead, it means the Apostle of God walking in the world. The right arm of the gods. Chu Mu was able to become the ground angel of Sequence 2 for a short time. He already has the strength to walk sideways in the early stage of the Marvel Universe. This is actually the biggest guarantee for Chu Mu's safety. With such cards, a little drift is nothing. Find a direction. Chu Mu controlled Gap Girl and went to the lair of the Saint Peter Gang, which is an old gang in Hell's Kitchen. The old man is naturally a gangster named Peter. Along the way, the Gap Girl controlled by Chu Mu also confiscated the names of four or five gangsters. It is worth mentioning that one of the black gangsters actually knew to give money when he wanted the indescribable Gap Girl. This is definitely a rare good character among BL asterisk CKMN, and it is taller among dwarfs. In order to express his appreciation, Chu Mu bestowed a, painless headshot, death on the other party. Compared with other guys who were targeted by Gap Girl, being headshot to death is obviously considered a kind of happiness. As for why Chu Mu didn't choose to let that BL asterisk CKMN go. Steamer, my model, my leg, my human weapon, you only want to give 200 USD. The reason is definitely because Chu Mu is filled with righteous indignation and feels that the other party does not understand the market. Harvest all the way. Soon, Chu Mu controlled the Gap Girl to reach the destination. Chu Mu, who wanted to put the Gap Girl in the headlines once, and then waited for Shield to go to Hell's Kitchen to catch people, sent the Gap Girl to Texas, and Chu Mu didn't realize it yet. In the lair of Saint. Peter's gang, tonight is not just the Black Boss and a large number of gangsters he wants to hunt. In. Black Boss Peter is hosting a very special guest. In an extremely empty factory building. Expensive high-end sofas, tables and chairs are placed everywhere. This is a factory area registered and used in the name of, clothing factory, but in a place like Hell's Kitchen, it is obvious that the, clothing factory, is just a cover for the gang's lair. The so-called clothing factory is actually the lair of the, Saint. Peter, gang for gatherings. For the violent gang, the expensive furniture is at best the value of selling two bags of washing powder. Therefore, when using high-end furniture sometimes, they seem to be using disposable items purchased by Pinchishi. Even for the elite, the furniture needs to be carefully cared for. Many places on the surface have been burnt by the smoke scars of those high-flying gangsters. And, behind these tables, chairs and sofas are hidden rifles and submachine guns that are definitely controlled firearms. In the United States, even a gun license should not be eligible to hold a repeating firearm. Okay, man in windbreaker, the reason I invited you here is very simple. It seems that there are some unclean things active on my site. I need you to use your nagging magic to kill that thing. The boss of this gang, Peter, is a white man. He is not as handsome as Peter. He sat on the sofa in an extremely arrogant posture, turned his head and gave the younger brother next to him a look, and the younger brother next to him lighted a cigar for him with great interest. It's really a place full of depravity. I'm not surprised that a place like yours will attract the attention of evil spirits. There must be a place for you in hell. The man sitting opposite Peter, the black boss, was wearing a brown trench coat. It was no wonder that the black boss would call him the man in the trench coat. After all, it was obviously abnormal to keep such a dress in summer. This is a guy with a shaggy beard and a head of not-so-thinning blonde hair. There is a huge mismatch between such exuberant hair and his clear London accent. Ha 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 ha, I like your praise. Even if we go to hell, we will be the devil everyone fears. Therefore, there will definitely be a place for us in hell. 
Peter, the black boss, did not express the curse of the man in the windbreaker. He didn't show the slightest annoyance, but instead showed a happy expression. The ignorant are fearless. The man in the windbreaker chuckled lightly. He didn't explain the situation about hell to Boss Hay. Crack. Seeing that Boss Hay was poisoning himself with cigars, he didn't just sit still. He lit a cigarette for himself backhand, intending to hurt each other with Boss Hay. Listen, your name is Constantine, right? On the territory of the saint. Peter's gang, no one is allowed to make trouble, even if it is a ghost, she will have to pay for it. Get rid of that ghost who likes to torture and kill humans, and the 20,000 United States dollars is yours. The black boss Peter sternly slapped two thick stacks of USD on the table. From his words, it also directly revealed the identity of the man in the windbreaker. Constantine. In a world of American comics, it can be said to be a famous magician, or it can be said to be a notorious magician. This man is a scholar who believes in pragmatism and has dabbled in many systems of magic. He is also a magic villain who is good at everything but not proficient in everything. In terms of liking the power of whoring mysterious things for free, Constantine may have a lot of talk with Ancient One. To be honest, Constantine glanced at the drug addicts around him, and then looked at the dollar bills placed on the table, with a mocking expression on his face. Normally, I'd think you guys deserve the spirit's vengeance, but I owe you a big debt to your gypsy grandma. Finished. Constantine stretched out his hand directly and stuffed 20,000 United States dollars into his windbreaker pocket. Boss Hay did not stop his actions, but issued a warning to him. Man in windbreaker, if you took my money, you'd better solve my troubles, otherwise, even if you have friendship with my grandma, I will let you know that street. Peter is not easy to mess with. Boss Hay had a ferocious expression on his face. But. But it didn't scare Constantine. You call yourself street. Peter. Man, that's not some title you can take off yourself, and you don't want to know the consequences of it. Constantine didn't intend to continue to give Hay Boss some science, he picked up a black toolbox from his side, and while opening it, he promised Hay Boss. Trust me, exorcism, I'm a professional. According to the description of your subordinates, what we are looking for may be a spirit body, the spirit of a lunatic who chose to commit suicide because of anxiety about his appearance. Constantine started looking around in his toolbox. Ah, uh, well, what then? Boss Hay saw that Constantine was carrying a lot of exorcism props, but he didn't know what was going on. He looked at Constantine with some anticipation and curiosity. What else? Then, we just need to find it and put it where it belongs. Constantine dug out a watch-like object from the toolbox. It was a bracelet with a bone texture throughout, and a huge gemstone wrapped in the center. Constantine put the bracelet on his own hand without saying a word. Whoever encountered that evil spirit, it's you, right, young man, come to me quickly. Constantine looked at a gang member she had asked before. Under the sign of the black boss Peter, although the gang member was a little apprehensive, he still stood in front of Constantine, and he stared nervously at the bracelet on Constantine's wrist. What's the use of this thing? The young gangster fears his soul will be sucked out. Relax, it won't do you any harm, it's just a detector. After Constantine explained, he took a deep breath and began to cast the spell. The spirit of darkness between matter and time, please show your figure in front of me, reveal the secrets of the past for me, and show me the afterimage of the past. Can't tell which language it is. Anyway, none of the gangsters present could understand Constantine's words. As he uttered the spell, the bracelet on his wrist began to emit light. What does it mean? The black boss Peter is very curious. The light is blue, which proves that your person has indeed come into contact with a certain spirit body. I only need to rely on this to find the evil spirit that is causing trouble in the world. Constantine was extremely satisfied when he saw that his spellcasting went smoothly. He showed a relaxed smile and prepared to pour himself some, pre-battle wine, to refresh himself. Um, will your toy change color? There was some surprise in Peter's tone. Definitely, my friend, it comes in many colors. Constantine poured a glass of wine and gulped it down his throat. If it turns red, what does it mean? Peter's question rang out again, and Constantine, who was drinking with her head up, responded with a vague voice while continuing to drink expensive spirits. If this thing turns red, we won't be so relaxed, that means. 
Constantine put down his glass, only then did he realize that Boss Hay's inquiry was not just out of curiosity. A bracelet on his wrist. At the moment, it is actually exuding red light. Constantine's pupils shrank suddenly, and the whole person suddenly became tense. What does that mean? The voice of the black boss Peter was a little nervous. It means, the evil spirit has arrived. Not, Constantine's response. It's a cold, emotionless female voice that can make people feel like falling into an ice cave. So close. It turns out. When facing emergencies. The gang members in Hell's Kitchen are pretty much a mob. After hearing the cold female voice, dozens of gangsters, including the black boss who called himself Street. Peter, picked up their weapons and all looked around like headless chickens. Above. Constantine raised her head very speechlessly, and looked towards the place where the voice came from. Four to five meters high on the wall of the factory building, a masked woman wearing a windbreaker is carrying two bloody corpses, looking down at the panicked crowd in the factory building in a condescending way, her only eyes are as cold as Deadman's. Wear a trench coat, dear. Good taste. Constantine praised the Gap girl while quickly taking things out of his toolbox. He was sure that the woman in front of him was definitely not alive. That dead man look. No one knows better than him, the master of black magic. Knowing that the king is coming will not work. Da 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 da. A group of gangsters fully demonstrated what a mob is. They hurriedly raised the guns in their hands, and pulled the triggers one after another towards the position where the girl with the gap was. The flames continued to flicker in the factory building. It's just a pity. Although these firearms can penetrate the Gap Girl's body, they obviously cannot cause real damage to the Gap Girl. Even if the Gap Girl is riddled with holes, she can still move freely. This is fantasy creation. Ordinary life rules cannot be restricted at all. In other words, only the rocket launcher, which is a weapon of mass destruction, may be able to temporarily send the existence of the Gap Girl back to Chu Emu's consciousness space. It's just a pity. Although the, Saint. Peter, Yang has good strength in Hell's Kitchen, they have not been able to get in touch with the underworld tycoon Jin, so they can only get some ordinary firearms from the arms dealer. The Gap Girl controlled by Chu Mu had been lying on the window before, and observed that there were no lethal weapons like rocket launchers in the factory building. You idiots, if bullets work against evil spirits, wouldn't an exorcist like me be out of a job? Constantine was almost accidentally injured by flying bullets. He angrily yelled at a group of gangsters. Probably the gang members also discovered that the bullets had no effect, and they all stopped shooting after their boss gave an order. Run. I don't want to be killed by scissors. The gang leader took the lead and rushed to the gate of the factory building. He felt that since he paid for an exorcist, it would be good to leave this place to the exorcist he paid for. The current top priority is to leave this haunted place, and then find a hotel to take a good rest, hoping to return to the previous days when I come back tomorrow. Have to say, the boss of the gangster had a good idea, but Chu Mu obviously predicted their idea long ago. After this group of people rushed to the factory gate, they found that the gate was locked from the outside. Get the chainsaw. Quick. Get the chainsaw. The boss of the gangster hurriedly gave an order to his opponent. Just as his subordinate was about to get the chainsaw placed in the corner, the Gap Girl threw the two corpses in her hand directly at the subordinate. The gang member who was smashed and fell to the ground, cried out to his companions for help in pain, but found that none of them dared to approach him to save him. Do you think I'm beautiful? Turn out to be. It was the Rip Girl who had appeared in front of the gang member. The Gap Girl, who has twice the physical fitness of ordinary people, can pick up gangsters with one hand. Beautiful. You are my goddess. Lady Gaga is not as beautiful as you. The gangsters were scared to pee. Trembling, he said the compliment against his will. However, after the Gap Girl took off her mask and asked again, he rolled his eyes in shock and passed out. That hideous face. Tentacles constantly waving in the mouth. This is still human. The gang boss and a group of gangsters in the distance also screamed in fright and the gang boss even yelled at Constantine, urging Constantine to get rid of the monster quickly. Hurry up. Aren't you a master? Hurry up and kill her. My god. What the hell is this? The boss of the gang, who always claimed to be a tough guy, broke his voice in shock. Don't worry, my friend, it's just an evil spirit that has lost its mind. I can't remember how many times I have dealt with such a character. 
Constantine doesn't care about the life and death of the gang members, so he was actually observing the behavior of the Rip Girl just now, using the lives of the gang members to increase his information collection on the Rip Girl. Have to say, this is indeed Constantine's style. After all, it is not without reason that the name, Zhikong, can be so loud. In this world, only people who admit it wrong have not taken the wrong name. Honey, your opponent is me. Constantine felt that he had already figured out what the Gap Girl was. He put on a lot of equipment for himself, and then whistled at the Gap Girl. Ka ka ka. The Gap Girl moved her neck and looked at Constantine. Chu Mu really didn't expect to meet the famous exorcist in American comics in such a place. But, Chu Mu wasn't too worried about Constantine's tricks. That's right, Constantine's exorcism method is very superb, and many devils and evil spirits are not Constantine's opponents. However, your exorcism skills are excellent. What does it have to do with my fantasy creation, Gap Girl? Do you think I'm beautiful? The Gap Girl was very fast, and immediately rushed in front of Constantine. The exorcism supplies hanging on Constantine were no different from ordinary decorations in her eyes. Honey, do you think it's going to rain today? Constantine obviously hasn't realized that the evil spirit he is facing is different from what he has encountered before. He is still trying to use the action rule of the evil spirit to immobilize the Gap Girl. Among the knowledge he knew, Facing an evil spirit like the Gap Girl, he just had to not play the cards according to the routine, and he could make the opponent be restricted by his own rules of action. Constantine is full of confidence. However, this answer is wrong. Didn't your mother teach you not to call others darling casually? Following the two crisp and clear voices of, Papa, Constantine, who had a posture of, controlling the overall situation, was immediately rewarded with two large pen pockets by the girl with a gap. The Gap Girl doesn't play cards according to the routine. This is obviously beyond Constantine's understanding of evil spirits. All of a sudden, Constantine, who is experienced in exorcism, only felt that his brain froze, and the reaction of the Gap Girl was completely beyond his knowledge level, so that he didn't know how to deal with it. Fan back. Constantine looked at the sharp scissors in the hands of the Gap Woman, even though his left and right faces were swollen and painful, but his reason still told him that it was definitely not a good choice. It's okay to leave a little psychological shadow on the big pen, if he is stabbed twice by the barbed scissors, he probably has to go to hell in advance to report to the demon king who is eyeing him. What? I feel that you are a little unconvinced. Although the Gap Girl's voice was emotionless, she was definitely provoking Constantine. Faced with this hateful provocation, Constantine raised her hands without saying a word. It seems that you are not an evil spirit. Misunderstandings are all misunderstandings. Constantine fully demonstrated what it means to be able to bend and stretch. He surrendered to the Rip Girl without the slightest hesitation. It is difficult for him to implement any effective counterattack at such a short distance. Aren't you a black magic master? Far away. The boss of the gangster looked at Constantine, who confessed his counsel, and his mentality exploded. Shut up. I'm not blaming your information for being wrong. Constantine threw the blame directly. Immediately. He pulled out a far-fetched smile at the Gap Girl. I think we can talk about it. Maybe magicians are more keen on negotiating, but it's a pity that Constantine obviously doesn't have the capital of Doctor Strange, and he doesn't have much confidence in his tone of voice. Liars, thugs. I don't think I have much to talk to with a guy like you, Constantine, are you stalling for time? The slit female language is not surprising, and Constantine, who is still planning a comeback plan in her heart, directly widened her eyes and showed an expression of extreme horror. You actually know me. Is this a trap? Constantine's expression changed constantly one after another, as if he had made up a lot of things in a flash. I see. No wonder you have such high intelligence. You are a demon disguised as an evil spirit, right? Let me guess, your master can't wait to harvest my soul. It's going to let you speed up my death, right? Ha ha, you demons like to do such small tricks. The spirit of contract is nothing but shit to you. Feeling a little excited, Constantine obviously associated the Gap Girl with the devil who was after his soul, and felt that the series of events in Hell's Kitchen were all a conspiracy to get him into the trap. Your little mouth is really dirty. The Gap Girl's scissors slid gently on Constantine's face, and the barbs on it made Constantine's face ooze blood, 
but Constantine, who had always been concerned about her appearance, did not dare to move an inch. The first fallen, Lucifer, and your offended Nagal. Do you think I'm their lackey? Tisk tisk, magician, you seem to know nothing about the changes this world is going through. The Gap Girl didn't choose to kill Constantine directly, but constantly stimulated Constantine with words. After all, high-quality leaks like Constantine are really uncommon. Fake point plus two one. Fake point plus seventeen. Fake point plus twenty-three. Since the interaction between the Gap Girl and Constantine, Chu Mu has been constantly receiving fake points feedback, which is much higher than those of the gangsters. Good quality leaks like this one. Chu Mu definitely has to be put to good use. Not only did he not intend to kill Constantine, but he also wanted to fabricate another mysterious force on Constantine's side, just like fooling those other people. No. It cannot be described as fabrication. As long as there are enough imaginary creations created by Chu Mu, aren't all the fabricated forces real? Lies implanted in reality. Weaving each lie into a big lie, making the whole world dance to it and then absorbing nutrients from the lies, this is his goal as the person in charge of destiny. Chu Mu felt that his savvy was really high, no wonder the system chose him to be the master of fate. You know about me. When Chu Mu, who controls the Gap Girl, was still narcissistic, Constantine was already shocked by the Gap Girl's words, and he looked at the Gap Girl with eyes full of disbelief. At the moment, his heart is really turned upside down at this moment, completely different from the half-truth and half-false procrastination before, he has no idea of the origin of the Rip Girl. This strange evil spirit, if it is really a demon in hell, how could he be so disrespectful to the demon king of hell? Not only did he not use honorific titles when he mentioned the demon kings of hell, but even when he mentioned the names of those demon kings, he could vaguely feel that the other party was not afraid of those demon kings at all. Guy from hell. But no demon dared to be so bold. You little devil. How dare you. Are you really not afraid of being arrested and tortured when you go back? That is to say, the Gap Girl does not have the extraordinary characteristic of mind reading. Otherwise, if Chu Mu knew Constantine's inner thoughts, Chu Mu would probably laugh out loud at Constantine's brain. Die laughing. Sophistication in hell. What does it have to do with his Gap Girl? Really unfamiliar. Constantine never wondered if the Gap Girl was from hell. After all. Except hell. Where else can such an evil, terrifying, life beyond common sense be bred? Constantine just couldn't figure out what kind of confidence made the Gap Girl dare to be so disrespectful to the demon king of hell. Even if he really finds some great backer, what backer in hell can surpass Lucifer? Greater than the first fall exiled by God himself. You know me very well, but I don't know you yet. Shouldn't you introduce yourself? Constantine was still trying to find out the truth about the Gap Girl, trying to be calm. If the Gap Girl is really a demon crawling out of hell, because she has been imprisoned in hell for many years, there is a high probability that she will start to reveal information to Constantine. It's just a pity. The object of the Gap Girl's manipulation is Chu Mu. Constantine's, probing, obviously won't get the result he wants. Magician, what I know is far beyond your imagination. The gaping girl's ferocious face slowly approached, and she didn't emit any bad smell. In fact, Constantine, who is so frightened by the tentacles in the gaping woman's mouth, didn't dare to let out a breath, even felt that he was hallucinating, because he smelled the scent of Chanel's limited edition perfume on her body. Devils still dress themselves up with perfume. Constantine just thought it was ridiculous. The reason why he thought he was hallucinating was also because even with perfume, it was absolutely impossible to cover up the rancid smell of the devil. Matter. Now it's really beyond Constantine's expectations. The gang bosses in the distance were still yelling constantly, but Constantine was obviously not in the mood to talk to the group of idiots now. Tell me a few things to hear. Constantine maintained a posture of surrender, and still did not give up the cliché to the rip girl. Tell me a few things. Hee hee, maybe I should mention how to redeem your soul. The face of the Gap Woman and Constantine's face were so close, and the words she spoke softly again made Constantine's heart stop. He sold his soul to the three demon kings of hell. How to avoid falling into hell is something he wants to know in his dreams. It can be said that the words of the girl with the gaping mouth completely poked at his heart. Fake point plus six six. System feedback received by Chu Mu. 
it can well explain how restless the mood of Constantine at the moment is. This is all bewitched by the devil. I absolutely can't believe her. Fortunately, it was not the first time that Constantine faced similar temptations. He quickly broke free from the wavering in his heart, and his eyes suddenly became extremely firm for some reason. Devil, I don't need anyone's help, especially from you. Constantine suddenly took a deep breath and seized the opportunity of the slit girl sticking to her face. I see. I don't know what kind of magic he cast, but his cheeks suddenly bulged. As Constantine's mouth made a, popping, sound, a large amount of transparent liquid was sprayed out of his mouth, and the posture even had a sense of sight of a gourd baby spraying water. Spray water on one side. Constantine also shoves the gap girl. Um, the girl with the gap was drenched in water. Although the capacity in Constantine's mouth is not scientific at all, this large amount of transparent liquid does not seem to have any lethality. Quote dot 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 quote. It's not just the gap girl who is dumbfounded. Even Constantine, who successfully released the anti-kill method, was dumbfounded. How could it be useless? This magic link is the holy water bottle in my toolbox, which is filled with holy water personally blessed by the bishop of the church. As long as the devil gets a little bit of it, it should be in agony. If I say, I can't hold it anymore, would you believe it? Constantine looked at the gaping girl looking straight at him, and he wanted to force a smile but couldn't do it no matter what. What happened tonight? It's really too weird. Could it be that I bought fake holy water from a profiteer? Do you think I'll believe it? Seeing that the gap girl raised the scissors and was about to pounce fiercely, Constantine's eyelids kept jumping wildly, and she turned around and ran towards her toolbox. Grab the toolbox. Constantine started digging out exorcism supplies. Shroud of the saint. Useless. Throwing it on the gap girl, she was chewed into pieces by the gap girl like chewing gum. The flustered Constantine didn't have time to think about how unbelievable this scene was. This. Constantine took out another wooden cross, which is a prop made of sawdust from the cross where Jesus was hanged, and has a strong exorcism effect. In the name of the Creator, I hereby order you to leave this place. With the power of the Holy One, the demons will be scattered. Constantine released the spell in a series of languages that most people could not understand. However, nothing happened. The Gap Girl is still approaching without haste. To be honest, Chu Mu doesn't want to control the Gap Girl to go too fast, he even wants to freeze this moment. No way. Fate point plus 2 1. Fate point plus 3 3. Fate point plus 2 7. Dot dot dot. Who made such a notification sound keep ringing? Destiny point the added notification sound fell on Chu Mu's ears, it was simply the most beautiful music in the world. If it weren't for the fact that Constantine might notice something abnormal if he really slowed down too much, Chumyu really wanted to use a distance of 10 meters to drag until dawn. Um, that seems a little too fake. Thanks for watching.